Hi everyone. I hope that you are all doing well. This is me, Sayyid Shujatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. To all the candidates who are preparing for mains examination, for them, this will be a wonderful and meritorious video so that you can master your answer writing and also cover your Telangana economy syllabus in a very strategical and very output oriented approach manner. So today, I will be giving you important tips with regard to the mains preparation. Along with that, we will also discuss one or two questions how to write in the examination. So in a mains perspective, we are going to discuss about it. Okay. So first of all, first important thing what a candidate has to do. These points you remember forever will be helpful for all examinations. First of all, whatever you are having the syllabus, you are having this syllabus or not? Yes. So in Telangana economy, you are having around five important chapters are there. Right? The first chapter is Telangana economy in Hyderabad state. With regard to that, we are having detailed syllabus for it. Second chapter, human resources, means human resources, like the population, regarding the population characteristics. It means what? Population characteristics means what? Which area is having how much population? Nothing but population density is more in which districts, which area, or in northern Telangana, or in southern Telangana, and on the basis of population, does what? Does what in the sense of occupation? Okay, are they dependent more on agriculture? Are they dependent more on industry? And in the population, how many are male? How many are female? Okay, we are talking about sex ratio here. And population income is how much? Okay, how much they are having income? And what kind of quality of life they are actually living? That all comes under what? Human resources. Right. Then the very famous, very static and very easiest to answer land reforms because it is done okay historical chapter is there so very very easy to write in the mains examination agriculture allied sector very very dynamic okay and lot of extensive research one has to do with regard to this agriculture and allied sector because since the time of independence telangana or india okay has been a agriculture dependent economy right so from 1947 and then before also and today also we are actually agriculture dependent only in terms of at least population at this point of time okay but this is a very dynamic chapter why because in agriculture sector every time okay economic survey mentioned new initiatives new growth rates will be there okay historical growth rates are there historical contribution is also there food crop contribution is also there cropping trends is also there rainfall trends are also there productivity trends are also there okay export trends are also there so you can expect that what is this complete chapter it's very extensive too it's not just agriculture not just agriculture you have to learn about sericulture you have to learn about pisciculture you have to learn about forestry you have to learn about logging okay you have to learn about mining you have to learn about quarrying Getting my point here, livestock, you can see that livestock has become definite question my dear students on livestock. Why? Because livestock sector has now overthrown cropping sector in terms of contribution to what? Primary sector. In terms of contribution to primary sector according to economic survey 2022. So that's why I tell you agriculture and allied sector and the initiatives that the government bring in again and again in that. Okay, national schemes are there government uh, telangana government schemes are there so it is very important for you to be to have a complete aspect about what agriculture sector then the fifth one last one we are having it is a club of both industry and service sector club of both industry and service sector service sector is very minimum here industry sector is very very bigger chapter here okay now the first tip to all of you here is okay material collection or resource accumulation you do this okay I mean here see whatever the chapters you are having here Telangana economy in Hyderabad state for agriculture for industry for trade do you have the notes for it or not Telangana economy in Hyderabad state agriculture related how much you are having notes industry related how much you are having notes 
ट्रेड रिलेटेड बीन्स सेलिंग एक्सेट्रा बाइंग एक्सपोर्टिंग इम्पोर्टिंग ओके वॉट काइंड ऑफ आइटम्स वर ट्रेडेड दट डू यू हैव द नोट्स आर नॉट ओके तेलंगाना इकोनॉमी इन यूनाइटेड एपी डिप्रिवेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट डू यू हैव नोट्स फॉर दिस चैप्टर और नॉट स्ट्रक्चर एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ तेलंगाना इकोनॉमी डू यू हैव नोट्स एंड मेटीरियल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक और नॉट सेक्टोरल ट्रेंड्स इन जी एस डी पी पर कैपिटा इनकम इनकम इन इक्वालिटीज एंड पॉवर्टी इनकम इन इक्वालिटीज एंड पॉवर्टी नाउ एज ए एस्पिरेंट ऑफ मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ रीडिंग वेरी वेरी रैंडमली एंड हैप हजारली and messing up with your complete goal itself it is very important for all of you to first of all take out the notes that you have written for all these chapters whatever the five chapters are there the first important okay work that you have to do is find out the notes for yourself it will take around 3 4 days to actually identify which areas you don't have notes much which areas you have a proper notes okay which areas you can supplement more notes because as you have already qualified prelims expecting that you will definitely do all of you my wishes are there with you all okay so you should all crack it and go with lot of enthusiasm and passion does not wait waste even one second also right so it will take around 3 4 days to actually find out where you are lacking some students okay are also there that they don't even have the chapters at all means they are unaware of these things because as far as my knowledge is there many of the faculties will say that that is a mains okay we'll deal in mains we'll deal in mains okay only for the prelims etc all that also do happen this kind of things happens here okay exactly in our telangana this kind of things are very common that is why some student does not even have the material or notes for many of the topics etc so first your job is to correct that your job is to Correct that, and those who are arriving, please get it cross verified that this is enough or not. Or where are you lacking? This is what you have to do. Okay. The first is material. Accumulation. Okay. Then second one is. time management you have to do here what i want to tell you very clearly very clearly please remember this if you have started your chapter telangana economy you have started complete only 75% of it then indian economy you started complete only 75% of it okay polity if you have started complete only 75% of it okay don't read one particular subject for 100% at the beginning of your stage complete 75 75 60 75% percent of all the subject it will boost your confidence it will boost your confidence and you can able to attempt to what okay exa exa whatever the questions given to you easily okay it's a very good booster so basically you concentrate on those topics which you are very very strength means you can complete that within one month you can complete the 75% percent of the syllabus at all completely okay within one month that kind of strength topics you have to take into consideration okay now in our major answer writing practice every student should follow this particular approach we call this approach as grid of evaluation we call this approach as what grid of evaluation okay your marks are given on the basis of this my dear students your marks are given on the basis of this okay now what i mean here see as the examiner first of all if you have written one answer and i i suppose let's suppose i am the examiner and i am correcting your paper so i will be having certain standards certain criteria will be there according to that i have to give you marks you might not be knowing about it but i know it very well okay that there is a grid of evaluation will be there to each and every examiner that sheet will be given to them and according to that sheet only they will give you your answers now the sheet will consist of okay presentation of your answer presentation of your answer basically whether the candidate has written the introduction content and conclusion this three parts he has divided his answer or not if 10 marks question will be there no 
yes if he has divided then he will be getting what one marks for this particular criteria okay then second one is sufficient content he has written or not sufficient content means main main answer part main answer part actually what is asked in the question you write in what body sufficient content he has written or not okay content will carry four marks so if you have written very good you will get around three marks like that okay then after this he will also see examiner will also have whether the given question he is having some current related trends have to be explained also but you have not done okay current affairs integration okay this question requires a current affairs integration whether the candidate have done the current affairs integration or not for that purpose if he has done one mark if he has like, like let us suppose you have done but you have done half 0.5 marks you have got current affairs integration now whether the question requires a flow chart or a diagrammatic representation diagrammatic representation the question requires that okay here again one mark for it suppose you have done it one mark for you also getting my point here now the question requires mentioning of facts whether you have done or not yes we have done the question requires okay schemes and programs integration is schemes program integration or you can say policy or you can say law the question requires all of this whether you have done or not yes you have done so you'll get one marks okay then the question requires whether you have done you have quoted you have quoted some committee reports etc or not okay then you'll get what one one marks so like this your papers are corrected in this way okay this is how they are corrected and this is how you will get the marks otherwise what will happen i will like your answer and i may give you haphazardly eight and i will not like a very good answer so i may give you i may give the particular person six in order to remove this disparity okay in order to remove the mood swings of the examiner he was given this kind of what grid of evaluation on the basis of the grid he will put the marks then the examiner will also be at the, like focusing on the answer okay here written the presentation or not yes one mark okay here written the content or not yes four marks like that it will continue okay this is how a the examiner okay the behavior of him at a, at a time of examination should be at the time of correcting the paper should be what very very focused that is why this grid of evaluation is there now with this grid of evaluation you might understood that how what are the various areas what are the various areas we have to cover in your answer writing practice okay is a art remember this point it's an art all of the people cannot try it okay you might have seen in twitter or also in the youtube that there are many of the toppers who says that i have qualified mains five times but did not go through what selection okay i have qualified prelims 10 times but did not go through what mains examination the problem here is their answer writing skills are not according to the standards of what the UPSC or TSPSC are expecting. Remember this point here. Okay, that is why this grid of evaluation will tell you, this grid of evaluation will tell you that what are the areas that you have to present in your examination while you are writing the answer. Now, another importance of this grid of evaluation is whatever I have written here, whatever I have written here you have to see that in every chapter all of them are there or not the grid of evaluation parameter is there or no all of them are there or not this is what you have to remember okay if all the areas whatever i have given in the grid of evaluation is there means your answers are not going anywhere you are getting perfect marks okay but 99.99% of the students does not have that grid of evaluation first of all does not have that areas first of all and all that areas they don't have the topics also okay so a little bit process of material accumulation which sounds very 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 naive when i started lecture it might be clicking on your mind that okay this is not so important but now it becomes very important you understood the importance of what what i told in the material accumulation point okay now in our answer writing practice sessions we'll take up every topic 
and in every topic we'll discuss around three three or four four model question and answers okay i'll be giving you exactly whatever is required for the examination point of view and to get you the maximum marks right see here poverty is there here i will give you three to four questions sectoral trends in gsdb one or two questions are only possible here per capita income trends and ranking highest lowest ranking two three questions are possible here agriculture around 10 questions are possible industry around seven questions are possible trade around three questions are possible land reforms okay tenancy reforms every one this is a separate topic isolated topic one question land selling one question okay land selling we can have two because on the basis of acts one question will come and what is the importance of land selling another question will come and lar act of 2013 will also come no so that is also important so what we are actually doing is nearly about nearly about 60 to 70 model question and answers 60 to 70 in the same format whatever i have given you in that way we are going to discuss all these topics one by one a topic may require one or two model question and answer only but a topic may require just like agriculture 10 model question and answer will, will not be even sufficient also right okay now let us first of all take very simple topic i will not go into the details of any of the things okay we'll take up one important topic like poverty because you can relate to me very well and this you would have also learned in your prelims and for various other examinations so let us write a proper structure let us write a proper structure for this poverty okay so poverty is there one thing is very common poverty is there in india also poverty is there in telangana also okay poverty unemployment gsdp per capita income agriculture sector okay wherever a aspect or area can grow can decrease can grow can decrease wherever any area of the economy any area of any of the subjects where you will see growth degrowth growth degrowth definitely question will come on what trends definitely question will come on what trends remember this point here when question comes on trends without having facts and data how will you attempt it tell me is it possible not at all possible at all okay getting my point here when the question come from trends without data how are you going to justify your answer it will become a blunder answer okay nothing is there in the answer no metal is there okay it is like a okay he will give only two marks for that nothing more than that okay so poverty is there in india and telangana obviously if he is asking from telangana the poverty related any question he will not ask from india and if he is asking from india he will not ask in telangana as because the chapter is mentioned in telangana there is more 99 percent scope is there that the question of poverty will come from telangana only okay but it does not mean that remember my point it does not mean that you don't have to read the indian poverty related topics also the first question that may come very direct question we are expecting this time just like upsc prelims okay paper has been replicated in our tspsc group one prelims also the same pattern has been replicated we are also expecting that there will be some direct means question and answers will be there some indirect will also be there okay now two or three important terms you have to remember three important terms you have to remember when you are writing the exam okay first one is direct question you can easily understand direct question is nothing but discuss the silent features of any bill any act any scheme like that will be there okay very very direct or what are the types of poverty various uh, direct and indirect taxes these are all what direct questions okay these questions you can directly attempt there is no problem at all okay fine see if i take this as one of my topic okay for the expansion point of view at this point of time various direct and indirect topics first of all you write what is a tax okay what is a tax then you have to write the introduction tax refers to tax refers to a enforce an obligatory contribution 
made by the people to the government of India. Tax refers to enforce an obligatory con contribution made by the people to the government of India. You can also say that there are only some people will only who are in the tax net, they only have to pay. But we are just generalizing it because we cannot go into the lengthy, lengthy way. Okay. So tax refers to the enforced and obligatory contribution by the people pay, paid by the people to the government of India. Right. The taxation system has been also constitutionalized under article what 260s okay whatever the articles are there you have to you have to say that whether the taxation system is a executive decision or it is a statutory decision or it is a constitutional yes taxes have to be collected it is mentioned in our constitution only so you have given that source of constitution source of collection of tax that you have done okay then you can say that taxes are of two types direct and indirect direct tax refers to indirect tax refers to like that you have to say okay then you have to go on then the paragraph you have to change and you have to write that direct taxes let us the following are the direct taxes with the given examples number one capital gains tax number two income tax in that you have to give the income taxes you know now remember this point income taxes you know this year budget 2022 what are the tax laps this is called as current affairs integration this is called as was current affairs integration this is how you have tried okay fine we will discuss everything in detail whenever we are doing that lecture okay now some are what direct questions you can happily enjoy it seven to eight questions will be direct and uh, some can be indirect we are expecting first term that you have to see in your examination whether he has given critically analyze critically analyze critically analyze what does this mean sir critically analyze means what it means very very simple thing okay suppose you want to go to a movie and uh, you want to know about that particular movie so you might have also seen in the newspapers that with the very next day they will write uh, the uh, the people who are like uh, very movie experts they will write their comments Okay, what they will say generally, if you see what they have written, they will say that this, 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 this good is there, this, this, this is bad is there. Acting is good, cinematography is bad. Right. Characters are very good, but the movie is very lengthy. Good, bad, good, bad. Okay. Critically analyze means you should become a critic. You should become a critic. Right. It means whenever the topic comes, Whenever the question comes with regard to the terminology called as critically analyze, you have to write the good and bad. And at the end, you have to give a middle way. You have to give a middle way. All the questions does not require critically analyze. Poverty, critically analyze what you will uh, do it in that. Good and bad will not be there. Poverty itself is a bad. Right? We have to remove it. So there won't be any critical analysis will be there. Critically analysis things will come majorly in what? Technologies. Like uh, drone is there. Good and bad. Because a drone at, at your window, somebody is putting a drone at your window, he will know that what actually you are doing in your room, right? But with the help of drone, we are also able to transfer what vaccines to the remotest area or not. Yes. So good and bad is there. In this, okay, dilemma, what to promote, whether we have to adopt the technology or we don't have to adopt the technology. Okay, fiscal deficit is there. Why it is not good? Why it is good? Export is there. Why import is bad? Export is good. Okay, here only you will get what? Critically analyze. Okay, when that topic itself is having good and bad, then only you will get critically analyzed questions, otherwise you will not get. The second important term that you have to look in your question is illustrate. Illustrate or substantiate. Okay, illustrate and substantiate are nothing but when you are writing the answer, you have to give examples. You have to give what? Examples means write your answer with examples. This is called as what? Illustration and substantiate your answer. Right. So, discuss is very easy. You can go on discussing, writing about it. So, discuss is also there. Comment. Comment will, will not be there in our TSPSE as far as I know. I know because comment requires a very, very comprehensive integrated approach to write a particular answer. Okay. Comment generally is also your personal opinion also. What do you think? Okay, that kind of questions hardly may come. So we will not concentrate on it. Do I do 
I do discuss one or two of uh, this uh, comment related only. I will cover all of that which is there in the pattern of UPSC also. I will cover all of that. Okay, but th those which are very very near to our TSPSC that I will do more more of it, right? Now, let us now see. I was talking about what poverty. The first question is possible under poverty is discuss the various types of poverty, concepts of poverty. Second one, discuss the methodology to calculate poverty. Okay. Methodology to calculate poverty. Direct questions. Okay. Direct questions you will get. Third one. Discuss the causes of poverty. Okay. Discuss the effect or consequence of poverty. Right. Fifth one. What are the what are the remedial measures taken by taken by government of India and government of Telangana state to address this issue of poverty to address the issue of poverty like that more two questions I can easily add in that so these are the direct questions now indirect questions could be like poverty and unemployment has been the center of policy since the time of independence but India is still not able to eliminate poverty and unemployment from our country comment or critically analyze okay they will ask you this kind of indirect question so basically what they are meaning here poverty is there at the time of independence poverty is there even today why is it so when you are having this many number of laws this many number of constitutional obligations when you are having this many number of schemes okay um, has been announced by various successive governments again and again then what is the reason that poverty is not going from our country unemployment is not going from our country then you have to write a very 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 comprehensive honor answer for that okay what is the population growth is one of the important cause of what poverty industrial structural unemployment is one of the problem of what unemployment in our country illiteracy skill development so you have to write in a very different qualitative manner exactly all of this will not be there or whatever we are writing here will not be there in that particular answer that answer is completely different that we are going to anyhow we are going to learn about it okay so discuss the various types of poverty if the question comes this way okay the first question if i want to address what i will do i will write the definition of poverty poverty refers to what Poverty is a social, refers to a social economic conditions where sub certain section of society is unable to fulfill the basic necessities of like food, clothing, shelter like that I will tell. Poverty has been one of the mainstay of Indian economic problem. Poverty coupled with unemployment has led to what? Lower standard of living like that I will write some two important points to support that definition. Okay. Then I will write that the following are the types of the following are the types of poverty types of poverty in major following are types of poverty taken into consideration in major policy making decisions Okay, number one, I will write what is the meaning of primary poverty. Then I will write absolute poverty. Then I will write what is the meaning of penury. Then I will write what is the meaning of 
mass power t okay then i will write what is the meaning of relative power t then i will write what is the meaning of quintile quintile income ratio okay after writing all of this in a very very beautiful manner and one more point you have to remember here see writing like this we are missing something some spark is missing what you have to do power t types of power t like that you have can give a small flow chart also you can give that flow chart will definitely make the examiner wow yeah he has done some work on it okay the person is very very talented here so you have to with your answer writing you have to send a message to the examiner see sir i am very perfect i have written very good i should get more marks you have to demand you have to demand your what ans what marks from your answers itself to the examiner examiner should see and should be forced to write give you out more more marks that is what is all about getting my point here yes okay after writing all of this then you have to conclude your answer okay in conclusion what you can write poverty is a very big economic problem to the developing country like india it leads to then you write consequences then you write the poverty consequences which you have learned in your prelims consequences right it will lead to what unequal opportunities lead to what lower standard of living lead to what non participation in decision making making they are socially discriminated right live in very unhygienic lead, led them to live in what social stratification separately from what mainstream of the society they don't live with us they live in about the peripheries they live in what peripheries so that's why so after writing like that to address this poverty government of india and telangana has taken many initiatives like uh, okay uh, asra pension scheme is there shaadi mubarak is there kalya lakshmi is there 2 bhk scheme is there vision bhagirata is there okay one ola one auto okay tsi pass tsi idea tsi pride like that you can write few of them okay yes types of poverty not good poverty initiatives has been taken you can leave your answer in this way i hope this is all understood to you in this way we will take one after one after another in a very comprehensive manner we will i will also discuss that what to be written in every in the structure i will also discuss what points you have to take in primary poverty okay so it's not it's a very very sketch work we have done okay the more better sketch, uh, sketch work we will do in our okay in the regular classes what to write inside it also i will tell you what points you have to cover inside it also i will tell you so that i i should also make sure that you are going to write the answer okay not with open mind but open minded means you can write anything here okay i want to make sure that all of you should write the answer with a close minded yes this is your approach completely yes i am going to write this one so ultimately when you have got a approach your hand will continuously go and you will not stop you and you will not waste the time okay you will never waste the time remember this okay this is all about today's uh, means orientation for all of you and a very proper discussion we have done with regard to the how to write our answers and what actually we are going to do in the future classes uh, thanks for watching me do uh, subscribe and share and uh, like my video and um, thanks a lot have a nice day bye bye take care